we're all going to be clearing a lot of unconscious and energetic program that either blocks you or slows you down from being as successful, healthy, vital, happy as we want to be. It can interfere with our abundance, our relationships, love in our life. We're going to be clearing those blocks and then your spirit and your inner wisdom will be replacing the old programming with wisdom and knowledge and concepts, skills, abilities, attitudes, and behaviors from your spirit and from your wisdom. So you won't be being run by your past. You'll be being, you'll be operating out of the wisdom and knowledge that your spirit wants you to have in the present. And all of this, if you're new to my work, it's going to be easy. You're not going to have to analyze yourself. You're not going to have to go, my mom did this, my dad did this happened, that happened. The, the real magic of energetic NLP is consciously you'll set your intentions. You'll get permission to receive the benefits. And then you'll put your inner wisdom and spirit, what we call your miraculous self in charge. And then you'll just let it flow. And I'll, I'll explain that in more depth in a moment. And so we'll be creating your miraculous self, this alliance between your spirit and your inner wisdom. Then we'll be going through processes to clear unconscious programming. Then we're going through processes to clear energetic programming. And again, the whole time, that program will be replaced by wisdom and knowledge and skills and abilities from your wisdom and spirit. Let me briefly introduce myself because not all of you know me. I'm Art Geyser. I'm from California, though at the moment I'm in London. I should have changed my background. That's my, actually, that's my view from my home in California. But right now I'm in Blackheath, for those of you who know London, which is a lovely area near Greenwich. I've been creating energetic NLP over the last 40 years. And I can't believe it when I say that. And of course, more and more people go, oh, I was five when you started, or I, I wasn't born. I've been a trainer in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, since 1985. And this is energetic NLP, and NLP will be one part of it. So I'll briefly explain what NLP is. NLP was developed in the 70s in California as an alternative to traditional psychology. And at that time, traditional psychology was based on what was called insight therapy. So that if you only knew consciously how you got the way you are, what happened when you were five years old, the look your father gave you, your mother gave you, and that over years, that insight would change your life and change and help you heal the old problems and be more authentic and come into your full potential. And, I'm not, and it did help people, but it took a long time. I remember a psychologist telling me back then that she goes, and she was a wonderful person. She goes, I have to work with somebody at least five years to make deep changes and maybe more. And the people who started NLP, the Neuro Linguistic Programming, well, we know of therapists who can get really rapid, deep changes in people much more quickly than that. Sometimes in one session, sometimes it might take months, but it didn't take years. And they began to study those people and go, what are they doing differently? And that was the, the beginning of NLP, the Neuro Linguistic Programming. And I'm sure you've heard of the most famous person in our field, who is Tony Robbins. And he has his own way of doing things, uh, very high energy, very, to quote him, I dominate people into changing which is not my philosophy, but he's helped a lot of people. But the core of his ability to change people's lives, the core of it comes from his studies of NLP. And when I listen to him now, it's interesting because a lot of things he says are the same things that we were both taught back in the 80s. I think he started about a, a year before I did. And, and NLP is really powerful, but when I was learning NLP, I was also starting to learn about healing, psychic development, chakras, energy work. And I realized you could do miracles with NLP. You could do miracles with chakra work and energy work. You could do miracles with spiritual principles and psychic development. And I think I must have been an alchemist in a previous lifetime because I always want to mix things together. Some of my earliest memories are mixing anything together that I could find in the basement, any kind of chemicals my parents had, paint thinners or whatever. They didn't know I was doing it, of course. But when you weave together NLP with spiritual principles, healing and transformative energy work and intuition development, you get something that goes beyond any of those systems. 
And the NLP influences how we're going to approach the energy work. The energy work influences the NLP and everything weaves together and creates something new. And as I said, I've been developing energetic NLP over the last 40 years. I mentioned I've been an NLP trainer since 1985. I studied with all the developers. I've studied with a whole variety of Eastern and Western healers and psychics, everything from South American to Philippine to American British, just anybody I thought I could learn from. I, I'd like to take what I think is the best of what they're learning and incorporate it. And then in energetic NLP, we've created a, a, a lot of original things ourselves. Um, so in a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to create our group energy field. And the key to making what we're doing tonight easy is to use your imagination. Years ago, when I was learning energy work, I don't know about any of you, but I'd often be going, am I doing it right? Should I be feeling what I'm feeling? I'm, I'm thinking about mundane things. Is that bad? Somebody else is seeing neon angels, and I'm thinking about something very trivial. And I'd be constantly analyzing it. And what I discovered over the years for myself, but even more for the my uh, students and my clients, is that the more people just relaxed, and more playful and use their imagination, the more benefits they got, the stronger and more effective the energy is. So while we're doing the processes, I invite you to just imagine that they're working. You don't even need to believe that they're working. It's not about faith healing. You don't have to believe in it. While it's going on, when I talk about energies coming in, just go, oh, energies are coming in and they're clearing my unconscious programming. They're downloading wisdom. They're clearing my chakras. They're reprogramming my chakras. And just imagine that's happening. And then later, you can analyze it to your heart's content. While it's going on, if you just imagine it's working, you open up incredible portals in your spirit and in your unconscious mind and in your energy. And that lets the real magic happen. So in everything that we do, there'll be a role for your conscious mind. The role for your conscious mind will be to set the intentions that you want then you'll give permission to receive the benefits. Because we all know we're supposed to set intentions. What people don't typically tell you is you have to give permission to receive the benefits because they don't automatically go together. And very often people have really strong intentions and wanting and yearnings and there's no permission in their energy field. So consciously set your intention, you give permission to receive the benefits, and then you add the phrase or better. And that gives your spirit permission to give you something even better than you were asking for. Then you give permission for your miraculous self to be in charge. And I'll explain that. Give permission for your miraculous self to be in charge. And then you just relax and use your imagination. When the energy is flowing, a lot of you will go into an altered state. Because I use a whole symphony of energies, but a lot of them are very high frequency. And they put people in this dreamy, altered state. And the reason for that is psychologists call that the hypnagogic state. And it's known that in that state, it's much, much easier to let go of old programming and blocks and much easier to do healing and much easier to open up more of your full potential. So when the energy is flowing, if you're totally aware and alert the whole time, that's fine. If you go into this altered state, that's fine. And some of you at the end will go, I, I, I don't remember what you said. I was just in this dreamy state. I might have even been asleep. Was that okay? And the answer is yes. <laughs> That's more than okay. So if you're alert, fine. If you're in an altered state, that's fine. If you feel energized, it's fine. If you get a little sleepy, that's fine. You may temporarily feel aches and pains. Sometimes as the energy blocks are being released, Sometimes you feel it in your body. Many times you don't, but sometimes you do. So during the process, if at any time you feel any aches or pains, just go, okay, then I'm releasing something. And just be mindful of it, but don't try to change it. Just let it heal. If at the end of the process is you're not feeling well, let me know. But 99.99% .99 of the time, it'll just clear up on its own you're going to be releasing a lot of old emotional energy. A lot of it won't even be yours. 
most of the emotional energy in a person's energy field is energy they've absorbed from other people or it came from past lives. You're going to be releasing a lot of old energy that isn't yours or doesn't belong in present time. Painful emotional energies from earlier in this lifetime. When they release, a lot of times you don't even notice it. Sometimes as, as they're releasing, you feel it. You might go, all of a sudden I'm feeling irritated or afraid or this or that. If that happens, just be mindful of it and go, okay, I'm just releasing this and just let it go. And you, you don't have to figure it out. Don't analyze it. Just let, it's just trying to leave. So let it leave. And again, at the end, if you're not feeling wonderful, let me know and I'll make sure that you are. See anything else before we really get, oh, before I forget, I will mention people asked earlier. So if you're in the vicinity of London, which could be anywhere in the world, actually, nowadays, no, if you're in the vicinity of London, this Sunday, June 2nd, I'm doing a program called Spiritual Alchemy 2.0. I did it for the first time in London last year at this time. And um, as I mentioned before, pe people really loved it. And people uh, told me it was very powerful and life-changing for them. And it's going to be even better this time. It will be in central London in just put it in the chat again real quick. If you go to www.enlp for energetic NLP, london.com, you can get all the information and the discount code that would give you a $50 discount. I forget exactly what that is in pounds, sorry. Is SP for spiritual alchemy, 50. And you would just put it in the form, click apply, make sure it discounted it and you get the discount. So what will be covered, it's not a, a the, the, I, there's always a little bit of teaching, but it's mainly going to be uh, a day of just transformation. We're going to, you're going to be clearing and healing karma, spiritual contracts. We'll go even deeper into unconscious programming, go into even deeper into energetic and spiritual programming. People will be clearing ancestral, societal, and f family programming, because a lot of the limitations in you aren't from you. They're from your ancestors. They're from society. And for those of you who believe in past lives, your ancestors aren't just your genetic ancestors. From your past lives, you have ancestors too. There'll be a lot of clearing and healing, a lot of letting your miraculous self download wisdom and knowledge and programming and skills and abilities that allow you to blossom. Everybody on the planet has amazing abilities. It is one of the kind of cosmic jokes of life is we all want to be special and unique. And the fact is everybody is special and unique. There aren't any extra people on the planet. If you're here, you're supposed to be here. And we all have amazing abilities that are just waiting for us to clear the blockages and then open them up and blossom them. And I call it Spiritual Alchemy 2.0 because the old version of Spiritual Alchemy was the idea of how alchemists would turn lead into gold. That's what they wanted to do anyways. And people used to use the term spiritual alchemy to mean we're turning our base flawed selves into something, into gold. And I don't believe that. I believe that everybody's essential nature is that they're a beautiful and vast and powerful spiritual being. That's my personal belief. Spiritual alchemy 2.0 we're not turning you into gold. You already are gold. We're allowing you to blossom and unleash. And it will not be on Zoom. Unfortunately, it's going to be a live program. Okay, so let me get started. And at the end, if people have questions, I'd be more than happy to talk more about it. Everybody take a couple easy, deep breaths. Remind yourself that that tonight, it's not about effort. It's not about analysis. It's about relaxing and letting the magic happen, letting the miracles happen. It's about using your imagination and letting your imagination open up abilities that you didn't even know that you had. And then at times I'll be describing things as visualizations. It doesn't matter whether you can see it consciously in your mind's eye or not. It took me a long time to be able to, to visualize well. And all of this worked, even when I wasn't visualizing well. And the, the secret is, I'll share the secret, 
you just pretend that you're seeing it. So if I say a gold ball of energy, if you see it in your mind's eye and glorious holographic vibrant color, that's fine. It works just as well if you go, I'm pretending I'm seeing a gold ball. And it, that's all you need to be able to do. So if you see it clearly fine, if you just pretend that you're seeing it, it's fine. Because when you consciously pretend to see it, your unconscious will see it and your miraculous self will see it. Let's imagine a giant gold ball of energy. And while we're together this evening, imagine we're all inside of it. You're always inside an energy space. And one of the things that we teach people in energetic NLP is how to work with that energy space rather than just be stuck with whatever one you're in. And if you're in a room and there are other people around, you can set the energy space for yourself and they can set it however they want for them. It's like with their cell phones or mobile phones. You can have 20 people in a room, 100 people in a room. All the phones work because they're all at a slightly different frequency. We're all at different frequencies. When you set the energy for yourself, other people can be however they want. Now, when you get more advanced in this, you can set energy for other people too with their permission. But right now, just you're setting it for yourself. So imagine there's this giant gold ball of energy and wherever you are in the world, we're inside of it. I know there's somebody in Ecuador and Malaysia, the US, UK, of course, different parts of Europe. And just imagine while we're here doing this tonight, or whatever time it is for you, that we're all inside this gold ball. And let's imagine there's a giant magnet out in space, and it's going to pull out of this gold ball any energies that aren't ours and aren't helpful. Any energies that aren't ours and are helpful are just leaving. And the gold ball is filling with wonderful energies that are going to help all of us transform our lives tonight by clearing old programming, unconscious and energetic, and replacing it with wisdom, knowledge, skills, and abilities from our miraculous self. Just declare that as being true. And the gold ball is filling with all kinds of wonderful energies, and your spirit will decide which ones you're going to use. Imagine Mother Earth, Mother Nature energies are coming up into this gold ball. Energies that are loving, acknowledging, healing, nurturing. So a lot of wonderful universal energies are coming in and Earth energies are coming in. Mother Earth, Mother Nature energies. And now let's create your miraculous self. Now this is so easy. Some of you will try to make it hard. It's ridiculously easy. It's just intention and permission. And what your miraculous self is when your spirit with its vast perspective and your deep inner human wisdom with its very practical perspective align and come together to guide you, heal you, nurture you, and help you manifest a more and more wonderful life. And you might think my spirit, my deep inner wisdom must automatically be uh, aligned. They're not. <laughs> they, they're sometimes aligned. They're sometimes they're not. We're going to align them. And all you have to do is set your intention that right now, your spirit and your deep inner human wisdom are aligning. And they're creating your miraculous self. And give 100% permission for that to happen now. And now just ima imagine that you have a miraculous self and that it really is as easy as that. And then you might think about areas of your life that you'd like to be, have improved, whether it's about abundance, whether it's about love, relationships, health, vitality, uh, business, career, success, spirituality, personal growth. Just lightly think of areas of your life that you'd like to be enhanced. And that doesn't mean there has to be anything wrong with them now. It can either be a problem that you want transmuted, 
or it can be something that's good that you want to be great or even greater. And I'm going to use terms like miraculous self, spirit, essence, deep inner human wisdom. And the great news is you don't have to know what that means. Your spirit knows what it is. It knows what your essence is. It knows everything about your energy field. It knows what your deep inner human wisdom is. So just let your miraculous self figure everything out. Your job consciously is just intention and permission. So I invite you to set your intention now that each and every one of us is going to get a wonderful enhancement in our lives as a result of what we're doing now. Each and every one of us is going to get a wonderful enhancement in our lives as a result of what we're doing now. You can always, if you want, just go yes to what Art said, or you can change it a little bit if you want. Now set your intention that you are going to get a wonderful enhancement in your life as a result of what we're doing now. Wonderful enhancements. Give 100% permission to receive the benefits or something even better. And we add or better again so your miraculous self can go beyond what you had in mind. Wonderful. Now give 100% permission for your miraculous self to be in charge. Again, it's your spirit and your deep inner wisdom, so you can trust it. And what I mean by being in charge, your miraculous self will figure out what programming it wants to dissolve and heal and what it wants to replace it with. Consciously, Think of this as going to the spa and you're getting a massage. Your job is to relax and, and receive. In this first meditation, we're going to be focusing on clearing unconscious blocks to success, happiness, love, health, vitality, abundance, relationships, and spiritual growth, personal growth, and anything else I didn't, creativity, anything I didn't mention. Take a couple easy deep breaths. And then imagine a whole symphony of energies is coming into your body and aura and energy field. And your miraculous self is picking the energies it wants to work with. And it's deciding what to do with them. What programming to dissolve and heal and what to replace it with. we're not dissolving the healing the programming because it's necessarily bad but it's programming it's not your truth it's not who you are now it's something from family ancestors earlier in this life past lives but it's not your truth just relax and let the energy wash through you your chakras, your energy channels, your aura, your unconscious mind, and even your conscious mind, because some of the programming is conscious. There's even programming in your DNA that can be changed. Programming in the cells, your organs, your body systems. So all limiting programming is being dissolved and being replaced 
with wisdom, knowledge, concepts, skills, abilities, attitudes, and behaviors that will naturally lead to your having a more and more miraculous life. You see deep breaths, relax, no effort. And if you want to try something really fun, imagine that most of this healing is happening in the present and imagine that some of it is happening in the past. Energy can work in the past, present, or future. So most of this healing, transformation, reprogramming is happening in the present but some of it is happening in the past. The advantage of that is it means you've already had time to adjust to it. And I know our poor logical minds get confused by that, but your miraculous self knows how to do that. And some of the healing transformation can even go into the near future. So most of it's happening in the present, some of it's happening in the past. Some of it's happening in the near future. Easy deep breaths. A couple easy deep breaths.
you know, energy is coming in to help you process and integrate the benefits of that. And you'll be processing and integrating it for at least days, which is a good thing. This energy will help it be easy, wonderful processing. And whenever we do one of these, we call them energy spa meditations, energetic NLP energy spas. We're mixing our energies up. And it's really important that at the end of each one, you have your miraculous self retrieve all of your energy back to you and that we retrieve all of our energy back from your space. If you don't do that, you can end up being a bit depleted and it's not good for other people. So ask your miraculous self to pull your energy back from everybody else's space, especially mine, and we'll all pull our energy back from your space. And any energy that comes back that your miraculous self doesn't want, it came from you, but it's not really yours or it doesn't belong in present time, it just can go down your feet into the earth and the earth will transmute those energies. And when you do an energetic NLP energy spa process, you've created more space in your energy field. And you always want to fill up. It's very important. You don't want to leave that space empty because something will fill it. So ask your miraculous self to fill up your whole energy field and body with more of your authentic essence, more of your authentic essence. And with earth and universal energies, that will help you and support you in having a more and more wonderful life. And then from the heart of the earth, let a column of energy come up near and all the way up near the base of your spine and let the earth do all the work. So let the earth send a column of energy up near the base of your spine. And this is a column of Mother Earth, Mother Nature energies. And even if you're in the middle of a city, we're still on the earth and Mother Earth, Mother Nature energies are always available wherever you are. Now give the earth permission to ground only your authentic energy into your body. And that, this is really important. And uh, I don't know why people don't teach this, but... They don't, you, you don't want to ground everything into your body, just your authentic energy. And a fun way to visualize that is you can imagine there's a point of light in your energy field for every cell in your body, a point of light in your energy field for every cell in your body, and they get out of alignment. So when the earth grounds you, every point of light pops in the cell it's supposed to be in. And another kind of fun thing you can do is imagine your energy body has hands and it reaches down and it grabs the, the base of your spine and it just pulls itself completely into your body so that it's aligned as it should be. And it grabs your feet and makes sure it goes all the way down from to the bottoms of your feet, so that from the soles of your feet to the top of the head, to the tips of your fingers, your energy body and your physical body are in alignment. And that grounding column of energy is like the root of a tree. What nurtures you is coming up from the earth, and what your miraculous self wants you to release 
other people's energies and energies that don't belong in present time are going down into the earth. And then the earth just transmutes them. Then take a couple easy deep breaths and start wiggling your fingers and toes and begin to lightly move and stretch. It's really good to stretch after each of these energy spas because your body wants to realign in a healthier way now that your energy field is realigned. But it can't do that if you don't move a little bit. So it's good to stretch, move a little bit. If you want to wake up, you can even pretend you're running. You're just with your arms. But at least lightly move and stretch. Stomp your feet and pet your body. I used to say pat your body, but one of our members of our M Club, our year-long training program, said we should call it pet your body. So I like that. So pet your body. Stomp your feet. Let's bring in some sparkling energy. And... I want you to process that a bit, and then we're going to do another process in just a few minutes where we're going to be working with energetic programming. Before we do, though, if and, and I know people are in this relaxed state, but if you have any questions, go ahead and, and put that in the chat, or it's always great if you want to share your experience. It's interesting to hear other people's experience. So there, a great question here. Is it possible to remove trauma from events you don't remember happening? Yes, absolutely. Oh, and Olive uh, asked, uh, can I remind people of the discount code for Sunday? So again, that's SP for SP. I think that's right. I'm getting myself confused. Hang on. T-shirt, let me go back to the beginning. What did I say? Um, I think I need to ground a little better. Oh, yeah, SP50. SP. Now that I think about it, I don't know why it was SP, but I guess spirit. That's the discount code. And yet, uh, yes, it is on the chat, but if people came later, they won't see it. So I'll put on the, the website too. Yeah. Uh, Mia, I think I'm saying your name correctly. Wow, Art, that was amazing. I feel fantastic and all lit up after that and very grounding. Fantastic. Anybody else want to share? And it's fine to go remember anything, or it's helpful to hear other people's experiences. And somebody asked uh, again, it's we'll go a maximum of 75 minutes from we started. And no, as the email said, there's no recording. Oh, great question. I should have mentioned this. So some of the comments, zoned out, feel relaxed, zoned out, which is good. Again, I'm, we're using a lot of high frequency energies because they, they put you in this state where it's much easier to make these kind of healings and shifts. Jill asked, Art, what does a lot of yawning signify? There's a lot of different ways we release energy. And one of the ways is yawning. So yawning, sometimes people sneeze, sometimes their eyes water. Um, all of that's good, but it's one of the ways that we can release energies. Sometimes people even twitch. I, I used to do that a lot. And in India, they call those kriyas, and they're little muscle twitches. And it's another way that we can release energy. And as I said, a lot of times the energy just releases. You don't even notice it. But yawning, eyes watering, twitching temporary aches or pains, emotions coming up. Those are all things that can happen. Thank you, Art. I feel so much lighter now and smiling. Fantastic. Uh, and that's a, a common thing that people will, will notice, uh, that they feel lighter. In fact, um, 
a couple of uh, shamans did uh, wonderful shamans did some work on me this morning and that was my first comment I feel lighter um I feel a bit tingly great I also told them I felt tingly relaxed and happy wonderful thank you totally zoned with lots of yawning and eyes watering feeling good thank you thank you Oops. so grateful for all you offer us oh thank you for saying that feeling tension in my neck will stretching help yeah let me help you with that Paul too there's a big energy cord in your neck which is not uncommon but that's you're really aware of it now so I will stretching it can help too and I'll do some work on it now and when we do the next process have your intention that the energy helps with that I was hoping to smooth and an art anarchic I kind of what I they feel I should know what that word is, but I'm sure energy I unwittingly created in the fourth and fifth dimensions over decades of current lifetime. Hope it works. It, it will help some with that. I'll, I'll help you a little bit with that right now. It, it should help, but that's operating in a, a different way. So what we're doing will help, but I'll, I'll help you a little bit with that. Intense sleepiness from the moment you began speaking. Can I ask for a miracle I would like to achieve? Yeah. Ask for whatever you want. Absolutely. We like asking for miracles. Oh, chaotic. Oh. <laughs> Every now and then I do too when we all misspell things in Zoom because we're trying to pay attention to two things at once. And uh, every now and then somebody will put in a word I don't know. And I'll think, oh, that's really cool. I don't know what that word is, but it sounds interesting. But it was chaotic. Yeah. Uh, relaxed and calm. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay, let me just check everybody's energy. Bring in some people aren't quite ready to do the next process. You will be soon. Those of you who are in the M Club will, will know what I'm talking about. The rest of you, don't worry about it. Some, let's bring in some Egyptian uncooking energy for everybody. And the brief explanation of that for everybody is it's energy that helps uh, just settle you, you down. Um, thank you, Art. I feel so relaxed, hoping it will continue to heal my body, mind, and spirit. Absolutely. Amazing how such powerful energy can feel so gentle and loving as it moves through and brightens the body and energy field. Oh, great. And somebody asked about the M Club, and you'll all be hearing about that later this summer, probably in July. The, the M Club will be starting again in the fall. So thank you for asking. The M Club is, and, and we even have an advanced M Club now. And so they're both my pride and joys. Uh, oh, cool. So Lucy, um, who's great with this, an Arctic is a word. It means chaotic. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy's great at that kind of thing. And Lucy's a very powerful healer herself, as is Kathleen. You just said, love the... In, Egyptian. <laughs> um, just reading somebody's message. Uh, yeah, this is to uh, Sarah, um, or Sarah, sorry. Yeah, I think if you continue to use those videos it will get better but I'll, I'll help you a bit with that too and sorry no that we're not live streaming the event in london that's a whole project that sometimes works sometimes doesn't but we're not doing it this time sorry this is an in-person one but we, for those of you in the U.S., probably will do one later in the year. <laughs> and Laura's saying, even before you mentioned the Egyptian energy, I felt it. Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to do a similar meditation to last time. And, and this time we're focusing on energetic programming. Because we all know we have unconscious programming, but we also have energetic programming, which is even 
stronger. It creates a lot of the unconscious programming. And that's programming that's come from your parents and your grandparents and your great grandparents. Even when we're in the womb, our parents are energetically programming us. They don't know they're doing it, but they are because they're programmed to do it. And it's overall, it's a good thing. Not that, of course, all the programming isn't what you want, but children have to be programmed to be able to survive in the society, family, nation, village, whatever that they're in. And some of that programming happens energetically. And most of the time, the programming is isn't so much that it's bad. It's not intended to be bad, I should say. But a lot of it are I think that people, anybody who'd be on this call, things that we don't believe in and things that don't fit for you because they're old ideas. They might be like, don't be seen, don't be successful, don't be strong, you're not worthy. And the original intention of those beliefs was often positive, even though sometimes it's hard to see how that would be true. Oh, let me back up. What, what I'm trying to say is an energetic NLP, we don't label things as positive or negative. They're either yours or they're not yours. They're, and if they're not yours, they're helpful or not helpful. They're yours or not yours. If they're not yours, they're helpful or not helpful. If they are yours, they even belong. They either belong in present time or they don't. They either belong in present time or they don't. So the reason for that is as soon as people start labeling, oh, I got this negative programming from my mother, my father, blah, blah, my family, you tend to go into resistance to it. And you've all heard the expression, what you resist persists. And there's a lot of truth to that energetically. As soon as we go, oh, negative programming, or they program me badly. As soon as you get into it, it's hard not to get into resistance. But when you just go, not my truth, not helpful, not mine, then it's very easy to let go of it. And you don't get into a fight with the programming. So in, the, in terms of your own energy, some energies belong in present time, but some don't. And the ones that don't are like old tra traumatic or painful energies from earlier in your life. They don't belong in the present. They were some time else. You want to get whatever learnings, if they were positive, they're helpful learnings from them. You want to keep those. But the energy, if you felt really bad about yourself as a child, you don't need that energy in the present. And it doesn't belong in the present. It's not your truth. It's not you your reality now. So in, in this time, we're going to concentrate on clearing energetic programming out of your chakras, your energy channels, your whole aura, which is in and around you in all directions. It's in your cells and your DNA and your organs and your body systems. And it's interesting with DNA and I used to be a medical researcher. And we talk about a double helix, these two spiral strands of DNA. And a lot of people who do energy work talk about there actually being 16 strands. And the other ones are all energetic strands. And I don't see it clearly enough to count them. But I see the same thing. There's a, there, along with the physical DNA, there's energetic DNA. And I personally believe even the physical DNA, it's possible to change it but I know you can change the energetic DNA. So we're going to be changing all kinds of programming and set your intention that as soon as it, the old programming leaves, your miraculous self gives you a download, mostly outside of your conscious awareness. It just integrates it into you. A download of wisdom and knowledge, concepts, skills, abilities, attitudes, and behaviors. It will naturally lead to your having a more and more wonderful, miraculous life. Okay, so hopefully you're all ready for this. Take a couple easy deep breaths. Remember, there's no effort. So set your intention that what we're doing now is going to release a lot of old energetic programming that isn't yours, isn't helpful, that your miraculous self doesn't want. And it's going to be replaced by wisdom and knowledge, concepts, skills, abilities, attitudes, and behaviors from your miraculous self, from your wisdom and spirit. And your miraculous self knows, oh, give 100% permission to receive those benefits. Give 100% permission for your miraculous self to be in charge.
Take a couple easy deep breaths. And then use your imagination. Imagine energies are coming, working with all your chakras, your aura, your energy channels. And your miraculous self knows everything about your energy field and your chakras. So you can relax about that. But I do want to mention, you have a lot more than seven chakras. There are, some people say we have 15. Some people say we have 144. It, it depends how you look at things, but you have a lot of them. And they're not all in your body. Some are up above your head, going up typically nine feet, three meters. Some are going below your feet, typically about a meter, three feet. So just imagine all of your chakras are being worked with. Not necessarily at the same moment, but your miraculous self is going back and forth and working with them, dissolving the old programming, replacing it with wisdom and knowledge and skills and abilities. It's working with the programming in your DNA and cells and organs. It helps if you smile, relax, let go of effort. I will mention a lot of programming is in your scalp area, and there's programming all over. But the, it, the scalp is the bottom of the crown chakra, the chakra right on top of your head. So there's a lot of programming in that scalp area being released and replaced. Chakras up above that, set the big frameworks of your life, what is or isn't possible, and they're being reprogrammed. You have chakras in and your head and on your head, forehead, top of the head, where the neck comes into the skull, inside of your head. There's your throat chakra and your heart chakra. There's the third or solar plexus chakra, and all of your organs have chakras. Chakra below your navel, the base of your spine. Your chakras in your arms and hands and fingers, palms of your hands, your legs, your feet, your toes, the soles of your feet. All your major joints have chakras, like the hip sockets, the knees, shoulders, elbows, wrists. All being cleared, healed, and reprogrammed for more happiness, success, abundance, love, joy, spiritual growth, personal growth, creativity, and more.
Let's add something in. There's so much angry and chaotic energies in the world now and lots of fear and stuff. Some of it for good reasons, some of it are exaggerations. But one of the things that's important in life always is resilience, that ability that you know you have an inner strength, that even when things can seem really dark, that your inner strength is there. And of course, it's supported by spiritual so sources. But so let's ask the energy to help all of us increase our resilience. And that's a good suggestion. Let the energy go into your fascia too, all the coverings of the organs and muscles. And now energy is coming in to help you process and integrate the benefits of what we did and what you did in that energy spa, that energetic NLP energy spa. In that Egyptian energy that helps smooth things out. Dissolve your grounding and let the earth give you a new grounding. Let it pop every point of light in your energy field in the cell it belongs in and ground only your authentic energy into your body. Ask your miraculous self to retrieve your energy from all of us and we'll retrieve our energy from you. And when you retrieve your energy, if there's any of it your miraculous self doesn't want, it just goes down that grounding into the earth and gets transmuted and recycled. Ask your miraculous self to fill you up with more of your authentic essence and supportive energies. You begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and lightly move and stretch. Stomp your feet, pat your body. Afterwards, it's a really good idea to drink water because you're actually releasing, detoxing the body in many ways when you do these energy processes. So when you drink water, it allows you to just wash that out and there's going to be a, a, a short but important little meditation we'll do in just a couple minutes to really put you in good shape and to increase the benefits over the next few days and if you have any comments want to share anything about your experience uh, go ahead and get them in the chat asap because 
where 75 minutes goes pretty fast. I hope you think so too. I think it goes very fast. And while you're all coming back to earth, I'll mention one more time, spiritual alchemy. If you go to enlplondon.com, you'll find out all about it. It's this Sunday live in person in London. And the discount code again is SP50 for $50 off. And I will say, if you found value in what we did tonight, this is just a tiny bit of what we're going to do Sunday. Sunday, we're going to get, take this higher and deeper and wider. And like I say, that last year, it was really special. And we have a great location in central London. It's close to Westminster Abbey, but it's on a quiet street. It's this little uh, oasis in central London. And it's a lovely little hotel called the Wellington. And if it uh, calls to you, I hope you'll join us. It's going to be a really special day. And you'll meet really incredible people. It's going to be really great people there. The headache I had when we started is nearly gone. Thank you. Great. Really clearing a lot. Many thanks to Art and the group. That was lovely. I'm so relaxed. Great. Or saying, wish it was online. Yeah. It, it, sometimes I, I do those online, but they're just, they can be a hassle in person. I remember hearing you speak, but as soon as the second meditation was over, I completely forgot the whole thing. And that's fine. You got the benefits. They all went in. And that's very normal because that the energy, again, could put you in this altered state that's dreamy. And um, even though you heard it when I said it, it's hard to, it's like a dream. It's hard to recall later, but that's perfect. Uh, that means you're conscious mind was out of the way and let your miraculous self do the magic. Um, I just asking if we can't come to London, what else is coming up? In, in July, you'll be hearing about a, a number of things coming up in US and online. Um, and thank you for asking. Um, thanks, Art. I feel wonderful and relaxed. I feel in a relaxed state. Thanks. Thanks, Art. Good to see you. I've been feeling stuck and looking forward to moving ahead now. Yay. Thank you, Nikki. The in-person days are incredible. Very sad to be missing it this year. Highly recommend attending. Oh, I'm sad. sorry you won't be there too. Was out the whole time, but I feel elevated if that's something. Yeah, that's great. And again, you probably don't even remember at the beginning when I said that it's fine if you don't remember things when we're done. But you were all aware when you set your intention and gave permission. And after that, it's fine if your conscious mind goes into an altered state into another dimension. Many thanks and gratitude. Many blessings. Have a ball in London. And at least say, and a special thank you to the other attendees for sharing their wonderful energy as well. I agree with that. Grateful for this wonderful energy, the opportunities and kindness you share through energetic NLP. This powerful process is amazing. I know it's going to continue for quite some time. So thank you for all the great comments go just a couple minutes late. So take a couple easy deep breaths. If you're doing anything after this session that requires safety, set your intention and give permission that your unconscious mind and your miraculous self will make sure that you're grounded, safe, and alert. Grounded, safe, and alert. Grounded, safe, and alert. Set your intention and give permission that tonight and for the next three nights, part of the time when you're sleeping, your unconscious mind will review what happened in our session, in our energy spa. When it reviews it, your miraculous self will infuse it, will infuse it with wisdom, knowledge, concepts, skills, abilities, attitudes, and behaviors that will make the benefits deeper, richer, and wider, that will make the benefits higher and more multidimensional. And while you're sleeping tonight and for the three next three nights, the benefits will automatically be integrated into your mind, emotions, body, and energy field. So that while you sleep soundly, deeply, wake up feeling refreshed, the benefits will automatically be integrated into the mind, your emotions, your body, and energy field. And that can happen easily, naturally, while you sleep soundly, deeply, and wake up feeling refreshed. So thank you all for being part of this really wonderful group energy. And those of you who, who are part of it, the energetic NLP community know 
we just attract really wonderful people and the, there's always a really wonderful group energy. So I thank you all for that. It makes it really special. So thank you. Those of you that can, hope I see you Sunday. The rest of you, um, you will be receiving emails about upcoming programs. We're going to have a lot of things going on. So watch for the news. Thanks, everybody.